Hello, young learners! Welcome to my channel! Our topic for today is about rounding down numbers. When do we round a number down? We round a number down if the digit we are rounding is followed by 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0. Or if the digit at the right side of the digit we are rounding is 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0. Now, let's try to answer this activity. Tell whether the following numbers are to be rounded down or not. You say round down or no. The underlined digit is the digit to be rounded off. Okay, this is our number 1. The number is 54,978. And the underlined digit here is 4. Okay, are we going to round this number down or no? Okay, the answer is no. Why? Because the underlined digit here is 4. And 4 is the digit that we're going to round off. And 4 is followed by 9. Therefore, we are not going to round this number down. So the answer is no. Number 2. The number is 326. And the underlined digit here is 3. Okay. Are we going to round this number down or no? You are correct. We are going to round this number down. So the answer is round down. Okay. We're going to round this number down because the digit that we're going to round off here is 3. And 3 is followed by the digit 2. Okay. Number 3. The number is 4,187. And the underlined digit here is 4. Okay, are we going to round this number down or no? You are correct. We are going to round this number down. So the answer is round down. Why are we going to round this number down? Because the digit that we are going to round here, which is 4, is followed by 1. Okay, very easy, right? Just always remember that we round a number down if the digit we are rounding is followed by 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0. Okay, now, what will happen if we round a number down? When we round a number down, we just copy the digit that we are rounding. Then, change all the digits to its right into 0. And lastly, copy the digit or digits to its left. Okay, take a look at the following examples here. Okay, example number one. The number is 63,275. And the underlined digit here is 3. So, it means that 3 is the digit that we're going to round off. And 3 is followed by 2. Or the digit at the right side of 3 is 2. Therefore, we're going to round this number down. And always remember that when we are rounding a number down, we are just going to copy the digit that we are rounding. So, we're just going to simply copy 3 here. After copying 3, we're going to change all the digits to its right into 0. So, we're going to change 2 into 0, 7 into 0, and 5 into 0. And since there is a digit at the left side of 3 here, which is 6, so we're going to copy 6 here. So, our final answer here is 63,000. Okay? Now, let's proceed with number 2. Number 2. Okay? I will erase number 1 first so I can write number 2 clearly on my board. Okay, number 2. The number is 97,188. And the underlined digit here is 7. 
So it means that we're going to round off 7. And as we can see here, 7 is followed by the digit 1. Or the digit at the right side of 7 is 1. Therefore, we're going to round this number down. Okay? So round down. And what are we going to do if we're going to round the number down? Very good. We're just going to copy the digit that we're rounding. Since the digit that we're rounding here is 7, so we're going to copy 7. So after that, we're going to change all the digits to its right into 0. So 1 will become 0, 8 will become 0, and this 8 here will also become 0. And since there is a digit at its left side, which is 9, so we will copy 9 here. So our final answer here is 97,000. Okay? So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. This has been your teacher M saying, keep learning, keep growing. Bye!